This may sound silly, but a hole can be a really scary thing. Seriously, think about it. Its depth can make a hole scary. If you throw a coin into a hole and hear it hit the bottom, then that's not a scary hole. Throw a coin into a hole and never hear it hit the bottom? Now that's terrifying. Just how deep does it go? And what's lurking down there? These are the deepest holes in the world. Number 15. This hole was covered up for one startling reason. Is a hole still a hole if it has been covered up? Well, even if you cover a hole, people will always know that underneath is a terrifyingly deep pit, and that's exactly what the Kola Super Deep Borehole is. It is a scientific borehole drilling project in the Pechengsky district, near the Russian border with Norway, which was begun back in the old Soviet Union. By 1979, the borehole had become officially the deepest borehole in the world, and the project had achieved its aim. But they didn't stop there, keeping going until 1989, when it reached more than 40,000 feet down into the Earth. Now this deep hole was actually covered for one main and startling reason. People have fell victim from falling inside this exact hole, and their bodies were never recovered again. Thus why the deepest hole has been covered forever. Bone chilling, huh? I guess just putting up a sign next to a 40,000 foot deep hole, saying caution hole, wasn't enough to keep people away from it. Did the so Soviets discover something down there they didn't want us to know about? Well, now we may never know. Like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Now it's time for the juicy topic. We need to talk to you about the Goa Dam, because this thing is seriously deep. Goa is a place most people go to in order to party, rather than sightsee. That means that a lot of things haven't been seen by as many people as they should have been, including the Goa Dam. Perhaps better known as the Salolam Dam, this spectacle is a true sight to behold. Spreading further than 24 square kilometers, this vast expanse of water drops 50 feet down at the first level, and then again for another 100 feet. That's one deep hole. We can only imagine how much damage you'd do to yourself if you fell in. As always, comment down below with the hashtag juicy topic, and let us know your opinion in relation to what we just showed on screen. Number 14. Zhao Zai Tiankeng. Man-made holes are seriously impressive, but what does nature have to offer in response? Well, since it doesn't have drilling technology, Mother Nature has to rely on randomly collapsing in on herself to create some impressive holes. And the Xiao Zai Tiankeng Hole is the largest natural sinkhole in the world. It is known in China as the Heavenly Pit, and it measures 2,054 feet long, 1,762 feet wide, and 2,172 feet feet deep. When it rains in rainy season, a waterfall can be seen at the edge of the hole, making this a real spot of natural beauty. The hole has been known to local people since ancient times, and was believed to have mystical properties. These days, a 2,800 step staircase has been carved into it, which allows better access for tourists who want to visit this amazing and mysterious hole. Below the hole is a powerfully flowing river, which originally formed the cave which has become part of the hole. This river runs underground for more than 5 miles and has a flow rate of up to 174 cubic meters per second. The Heavenly Pit is also known for its amazing flora and fauna, with species such as ginkgo among the more than 1,200 plants found there and rare animals like the clouded leopard spotted hanging around at the hole. Number 13. The Devil's Sinkhole the Devil's Sinkhole State Natural Area is a sinkhole near the city of Rock Springs, Texas, and it is known to be a natural habitat for bats. In particular, it is home to the Mexican free-tailed bat, which is a medium-sized bat that is vulnerable to habitat destruction, because even though these bats live in enormous numbers, they tend to all live together in just a few places. And when those places disappear, so do the bats. So the Devil's Sinkhole State Natural Area is an extremely important place for the 
the conservation of this species of bat. And it's a pretty neat bat, known for its incredible speed. In fact, it is the fastest horizontal speed of any animal, having had its ground speed measured at just under 100 miles per hour. And it is the designated state flying mammal of Texas since 1995. They have a pretty nice hole to live in, too, and the 40 by 60 foot opening drops down into a 400 foot deep cavern below. It was first discovered by local residents back in 1876, and the oldest carving into the rock was made by H.S. Barber in 1889. The cavern, which was formed by water erosion, gives a spectacular display at sunset. From April through October, when the millions of Mexican free-tailed bats who live in it emerge to begin their night's work. Number 12. Kimberly Diamond Mine The Kimberly Diamond Mine is an open-pit diamond mine in South Africa, which is also known by the pretty simple name of Big Hole because that is definitely what it is. This mine lays claim to be the deepest hole ever dug purely by hand, and this all began when the first diamonds were found here by Alric Braswell back in 1871. This led to a diamond rush as many different companies competed for the right to mine the area for the rest of the 19th century, with 50,000 miners digging the pit every day with picks and shovels right up until 1914. The mine eventually yielded 6,000 thousand pounds of diamonds, or 13 million and 600 thousand carats, which is enough for a tiara or two. The big hole is 1700 feet wide, and was once almost 800 feet deep, although it was partially filled in with rubble and is now around 700 feet deep. Since the mine was closed, it has accumulated around 130 feet of water, and this has created a beautiful site, which is in contention to become a World Heritage Site. Number 11. Cerveno Jezero. Cerveno Jezero is a lake in Croatia, which is in fact a huge sinkhole that has filled with water. The name of the lake means Red Lake, and it is known for its very high cliffs and many caves. This kind of lake is known as a Karst Lake, and it is located near the city of Amatsky. The huge cliffs reach 800 feet above the water level, and also carry on deep below the water. In fact, the depth of the sinkhole so far explored is more than 1,700 feet. which makes it the third largest sinkhole in the entire world. There are underground waterways below the basin, which allow water to drain out, and the lowest point of the lake sits at 13 feet below sea level. The Red Lake is named after the color of the surrounding cliffs, which have a red tint due to the large amount of iron oxide in the rock. Nearby is another lake named Blue Lake, and both of these were formed when a cave ceiling collapsed, creating the huge sinkholes. This this lake has an endangered species, the spotted minnow, and studies suggest the underground water systems may connect to other nearby lakes and rivers. Number 10. Bingham Canyon Mine its official name is the Bingham Canyon Mine, but locals are more likely to call it the Kennecott Copper Mine. Either way, this open mine is located near Salt Lake City, Utah, and is an operational mine where there is ongoing extraction of the large deposits of porphyry copper near the Oak Here Mountains. This is the largest man-made excavation site and the deepest open pit mine in the world. It has also produced more than 19 million tons of copper, which is the highest copper yield of any mine in history. The mine is owned by a British-Australian multinational called Rio Tinto Group, and the copper operations are managed by the Kennecott Utah Copper Corporation, and they take care of the mine, the concentrator plant, the smelter, and refinery. Opened in 1906, the mine is now 2.5 miles wide and 0.75 miles deep, and was declared a National Historic Landmark in 1966. However, in 2013, the pit experienced a huge landslide which is considered to be the largest non-volcanic landslide in the history of North America. Fortunately, modern safety equipment and warning devices meant that there were no injuries caused by the slide. The mine has been controversial, however, for its very negative effect on the environment, causing devastation to plants and animals, as well as causing severe water and air pollution. Number 9. Batagaika Crater 
back to Russia now for a look at the Batagaika Crater, which is an example of a thermokarst depression located in the Shersky Range of Siberia. It is the world's biggest permafrost crater, and it is administered by the huge Saka Republic, a nation which exists within the Russian Federation. The crater measures around 0.6 of a mile and is almost 330 feet deep. and it is continuing to grow. It is named for the nearby Batagaika River, which is a tributary of the River Yana. Back in the 1960s, the Soviets cleared the surrounding forest, and this caused a thawing in the permafrost, which then led to the entire area beginning to sink. Flooding then began enlarging the crater further, and while this destruction of the forest has obviously been a bad thing for the environment, some interesting discoveries have been made in the crater, including many fossils from the Ice Age, including many woolly mammoths, and it has also permitted scientists to make unique studies on climate change over the last 200,000 years. It is considered extremely unstable at the rim of the crater, and landslides are common. Number 8. The Great Blue Hole the Great Blue Hole is one of the world's most famous holes, and it is a marine sinkhole off the coast of the Central American nation of Belize. It is located in the center of Lighthouse Reef, which is a small atoll lying just 40 miles from Belize City. The circular hole is more than 1,000 feet across and more than 400 feet deep. It was formed during the Ice Age when sea levels were far lower due to so much water being locked up in ice. As water levels began to rise again due to climate change, 150 60,000, 60, and 15,000 years ago, this huge cave was filled with water and eventually became part of the ocean. The hole is included in the World Heritage Site, which encompasses the entire Belize Barrier Reef System, and the area is protected by UNESCO. One of the reasons the Great Blue Hole is so famous is that the greatest aquatic explorer of all time, Jacques Cousteau, named it as one of the top five scuba diving sites in the world after exploring the region in 1971. Since then, it has been extremely popular with tourists, although when two submarines explored the bottom for the first time in 2018, they found, no surprises, a whole bunch of disposable plastic containers. Number 7. Door to Hell the Darvasa gas crater is also known as the Door to Hell, and it is not hard to see why. This is a natural gas field which collapsed into a hole, and it is located near Darvaza, Turkmenistan. The huge fiery pit has been burning since 1971, and it is believed that Soviet geologists exploring the area set it ablaze to try and stop an outpouring of methane gas which happened during a drilling operation. The crater is almost 100 feet deep and 226 feet wide, making this a truly incredible site, which has been burning constantly for more than 50 years. As it stands, the Turkmen government is trying to promote the area to tourists with a popular wild desert camping site nearby. It certainly sounds like it would make an amazing vacation spot. The door to hell is likely to burn on for a while yet, as the area in the Karakum Desert, where it is found, is known to be one of the largest natural gas deposits in the world. Incredibly, microorganisms have been discovered living in this inhospitable environment, and the Turkmen president, and eccentric figure to uh, say the least, chose to disprove rumors of his death in 2019 by pulling donuts in a rally car around the crater. Number 6. Chand Bowery a step well is a well dug into the ground with sets of steps allowing people to descend all the way down to the water to collect it. And Chand Bowery is one of the biggest and most beautiful in the world. It is located in the village of Abhaneri in the Indian state of Rajasthan, and is named for a historical local ruler. The step well began construction all the way back in the 8th century, making this one of the most important and fascinating archaeological sites in the region. The well was extremely important, and so a palace and temple were soon added to the site. The temple became a pilgrimage site, and the well was used to draw water for religious ceremonies. It consists of an amazing 3,500 steps down to the water, and the well descends from 100 feet below the ground. The well also offers some relief from the hot sun, since the air at the bottom is around 10 degrees cooler than at the top. So local people would gather there at the hottest part of the day for fresh air and water. Number 5. 
The Berkeley Pit The Berkeley Pit is another open pit copper mine in the US, this time located in Butte, Montana. The pit is a mile long and half a mile wide, with a depth of around 1,780 feet, and about 900 feet of its depth is filled with water. Although not the kind of water that's ideal for swimming as it has a pH of 2.5, this means it is highly acidic. Similar to Coca-Cola, lemon juice, or gastric acid, this means that the pit is filled with heavy metals, which come from the surrounding rocks including copper, arsenic, cadmium, zinc, and sulfuric acid. It. Trust me, you don't want to swallow any of those if you can avoid it. The mine was opened in 1955 and was consistently a target of environmental campaigners who were trying to stop its devastating effects on the ecology of the area. They were successful and the mine was closed on Earth Day in 1982. The water pumps were turned off and the mine began to fill with water. It has become a tourist attraction with a gift shop and visitors can pay to go out onto a viewing platform, while in 2019 a water purifier was added to try and reduce the toxicity of the water. Number 4. Dean's Blue Hole this hole is known as Dean's Blue Hole, and it is located in the Bahamas, not far from Clarence Town on Long Island. It is the second deepest blue hole in the world, and it lies in a bay. Blue holes are sinkholes that fill with water and then have the entire hole entrance covered with water. They are formed over long periods of time in a variety of ways, such as having limestone rock soaked with rainwater, which then causes fractures in the rock. As with other blue holes, Dean's Blue Hole was formed during a time when sea levels were much lower due to the planet being much colder. In this case, the time around 15,000 years ago, that we often refer to as the Ice Age, was when this hole was mainly formed as we know it today. The the hole is circular and has a diameter of around 115 feet, and the hole widens as it gets deeper, creating a cavern 330 feet deep. This amazing location has been home to Vertical Blue since 2008, a renowned free diving competition organized by New Zealander William Trubbage, a free diving world champion. Number 3. Ice Cube Neutrino Observatory Antarctica Ice Cube Neutrino Observatory Antarctica is known by most people simply as Ice Cube. It is a neutrino observatory which was constructed at the Amundsen Scott South Pole Station in Antarctica. It is a recognized CERN project, like the particle accelerator in Europe, and it consists of thousands of sensors located in a huge hole spread over a space of around half a cubic mile. The ice cube was completed in December 2010, and its job is to explore astrophysical processes, particularly the highest energy ones, which are behind some of the most important things in our universe. It uses something called digital optic modules, which are spherical optical sensors. These sensors are buried in holes up to 8,200 feet deep, which were drilled with hot water drills. The project soon managed to detect 28 neutrinos, which had originated from beyond our own solar system. The physics get a little intense here, but basically this is a way of better understanding cosmic rays, which travel from faraway places, and also for attempting to uncover some of the mysteries of dark matter. Number 2. Mirmine once more, we are going back to Russia for another of the country's amazing and huge holes. The Mir Mine is an open pit diamond mine, once again in the Siberian part of the Sakha Republic. This mine is more than 1,700 feet and is currently the fourth deepest open pit mine in the world. The mine first opened in 1955, but was closed in 2001. However, since 2009 it has reopened, and excavation has continued, meaning this mine will continue getting deeper and deeper for now. Back in 1955, Soviet geologists first discovered diamond deposits in the region after they noticed traces of the volcanic rock kimberlite, which is often a sign that diamonds may be nearby. Mining in this region is no easy task since the ground is frozen solid for 17 months of the year. Then in summer, the ground is a little more than slush, meaning that stabilizing buildings and equipment was almost impossible, but some ingenious engineering, such as rising buildings into piles, 
wells proved to be the answer, and by the 1960s, the mine was producing 4,400 pounds of diamonds a year. The mine was also a sideshow in the Cold War, as the De Beers Diamond Company was trying to protect their diamond cartel from this new Soviet diamond production. A lot of shady dealings and political gamesmanship went on, and in the end, De Beers were unable to gather a full and accurate assessment of the Mir mine. Although they were astonished by Soviet technology in the extraction process. Number 1. Diavik Mine Another huge and cold country, another huge diamond mine, only this time it is Canada and the Diavik Diamond Mine, which is located in the North Slave region of the Northwest Territories. It is a huge industrial complex which exists in a very remote region, almost 200 miles from Yellowknife. It is located on a 8 square mile island, just 140 miles south of the Arctic Circle. The mine was opened in 2003 by the Rio Tinto multinational, and the life expectancy of the mine is thought to be around 22 years. It has become vital to the economy, producing around 3,300 pounds of diamonds every year, and it is powered by the world's largest wind-diesel hybrid power facility. This wind farm can operate at temperatures as low as minus 40 Fahrenheit, making it a new benchmark in cold weather power generation. The mine is also notable for producing large diamonds, including a 552 carat diamond in 2018, which is the largest diamond ever found in North America. Which of these holes would you most like to explore? Have you ever visited any of the places on our list today? Let us know in the comments below. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time!